The brother of one of two Australians executed for drug crimes in Indonesia says the federal government has failed to apply enough pressure to its Asian neighbour to abolish the death penalty. Today marks one year since 31-year-old Andrew Chan and 34-year-old Myron Sukumaran were executed by Indonesian firing squad for their roles as ringleaders in the Bali 9 heroin trafficking group. Andrew Chan's brother Michael says he fears his brother died in vain and has largely been forgotten. For the first time in 10 years, Michael Chan won't be flying to Bali to be with his brother Andrew in Karobakan prison. Instead, his family will gather with close friends to mark one year since his execution. You almost trick yourself into believing that he's still around. When you have certain gatherings at home over the course of the year, you know, you obviously there's someone missing at the table or football season's just started and, you know, usually where there's a bit of banter between me and him and the Bulldogs, you know, the Panthers and the Bulldogs. This time last year, a global campaign to save Andrew Chan and Myron Sukumaran's lives reached its climax. The Australian government pleading with Indonesia. But there was no 11th hour mercy. President Joko Widodo refused to relax his hardline stance on drugs. And suddenly, they were gone. Since the deaths, Indonesia has not executed anyone. But Amnesty International says that's because Widodo is worried about losing trade opportunities. Indonesia prioritised the economic development. But recently, a few weeks ago, we heard that the Attorney General uh, wanted to resume the third wave of execution probably somewhere in May. Indonesian representatives in Australia refused to comment on the anniversary of the executions, a sign of just how sensitive the matter still is. The Foreign Minister Julie Bishop declined an interview, but a spokesman said the executions were a difficult point in the relationship. However, Indonesia remains one of Australia's most important and enduring bilateral relationships. I think we've really seen something of a circuit breaker effect from Malcolm Turnbull's rise to Prime Minister. Uh, where the, the relationship was essentially broken between President Jokowi and Prime Minister Abbott. We've instead seen very public positive atmospherics. Michael Chan says his brother was willing to face what he described as a barbaric death if his story helped end capital punishment. If he was to be the last person to be executed in Indonesia, so be it if it was to um, abolish the death penalty. Australians Against Capital Punishment will hold a vigil to mark the anniversary of their deaths in Brisbane Friday evening. Alex Parry, SBS World News.